have a thought with bismillah let's start with bismillah dear students you already know about different types of clauses like adverb clause noun clause and adjective clause in this video lecture we shall talk about adjective clause or you may call it relative clause so let's begin what is a relative clause or an adjective clause dear students you know relative clause or adverb clause adjective clause is a part of a sentence it's a part of a sentence or it's a class ye sentence ka ek aisa hissa hai ek aisa clause hai which describes what does it do it it describes it describes something relative clause ek cheez ko describe karta hai and this thing it can be place it can be thing it can be person or something else and you know in this relative clause this part of sentence it is introduced it is joined by relative pronoun or relative adverbs so relative clauses they are joined by or they are introduced by relative pronouns or relative adverbs okay in the relative clause ko introduce karte hain uh, a kind of pronoun unko kehte hain hum relative pronoun or relative adverbs okay and you know these relative clauses they tell us which or what kind of thing person place extra is meant relative clause hame batata hai ki hum kis cheez ke bare mein ya किस शख्स या जगह के बारे में बात करें या किस जैसी जगह या किस कस्म का शख्स किस कस्म की चीज़ के बारे में हम बात करते हैं सो दिस इज रिलेटिव क्लास सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जांपल टू इलिस्ट्रेट व्हाट ए रिलेटिव क्लास इज सो लेट्स बिगिन सी द एग्जांपल हेयर द एग्जांपल इज द पैन that has a broken cap is mine okay here see here the pen is mine is a man part of a sentence it's one class or it's one sentence and another class is joined with it iske sath ek aur class join kiya gaya hai that is that has a broken cap ये दूसरा सेंटेंस है एंड इट हैज बीन जॉइंड बाय रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन दैट्स दैट दैट से इसको कनेक्ट किया गया है मैन क्लास ऑफ सेंटेंस के साथ सो दैट हैज ए ब्रोकन कैप इट इज अ रिलेटिव क्लास बिकॉज इट बिगिन्स विद रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन इट बिगिन्स विद रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन दैट तो दैट ने इस रिलेटिव क्लास को इंट्रोड्यूस किया है एंड इट टेल्स एस वट काइंड ऑफ पेन और विच पेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हम किस पेन के बारे में बात करते हैं सो इट इज दैट पेन विच हैज ए ब्रोकन कैप ये हम उस पेन के बारे में बात करते हैं जो जिसका जिसकी कैप ब्रोकन है टूटी हुई है सो इट डिफाइनस इट डिस्क्राइब्स द पेन हेयर वट काइंड ऑफ पेन और विच पेन वी मीन हेयर ओके सो दिस इज अ रिलेटिव क्लास ओके let's see some more examples dear friends so what is uh, now a relative class in the simplest terms we can define relative class the class or a sentence that describes something to relative class ek aisa class hai ek aisa sentence hai jo kisi cheez ko describe karta hai kisi cheez ko kisi shakhs ko ya kisi place ko For example, 
the book which is full of pictures is liked by children see here the book which is full of pictures which is full of pictures it's a relative class and it is introduced by the relative pronoun which and it tells us what kind of book are we are talking about so here which is here which is full of pictures it is actually a sentence it is a class that describes the book here so it is a relative it's a relative class it's a relative class and it is introduced by which that is related to pronoun okay the next example is people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones okay see people who live in glass houses who live in glass houses it is a relative class or a relative adjective it does the function of an adjective as it describes here the people which people or what kind of people we are talking about and it is introduced by the relative pronoun the question that is who okay so it describes here it defines the people so it's again a related class the next example is here the hotel where we took lunch was nice so here the related class is introduced by via it is a related adverb so the hotel so where we took yahan pe humne lunch kiya usi hotel ke bahare mein hum baat karte hain so uh, where we took lunch it is a relative class okay so let's see some more examples my cousin who or that is from supur visited me yesterday the students note sit here so we have my cousin who or that is from sopo this part of sentence that is who is from sopo it is a relative class and it is called defining relative class we have two types of relative class that first one is defining relative class and it gives essential information here it gives essential information it is called defining relative class okay and here it means uh, my cousin that means i had only one cousin uh, in this uh, defining relative class we can use who or you can also use that here but in another type of uh, defining uh, i mean this uh, relative class which is called non defining non defining relative class you can't use that for example my cousin who is from supur visited me yesterday it uh, it is an additional information it's extra information so this extra information who is from supur it is separated by commas we use commas in non defining relative class but you can't use comma in defining relative classes so we have two types of relative class so in this video lecture we have learned that that relative class is a part of a sentence which describes something and tells us which or what kind of thing person or place is meant and it is joined it is introduced by a relative pronoun or relative uh, adverb so in the simplest terms you can say relative class when a class when a sentence describes something it is known as 
relate to class or relate to relate to class or uh, ad adjective class for example the pen that has a broken cap is mine hair that has a broken cap is a relative clause because hair the clause that is uh, that has a broken cap it is a sentence it's a clause that describes the pen so it is a it is a relative clause or adjective clause friends this is all for today see you in the next class with uh, the types of relative clause and the uh, related pronouns and adverbs till then goodbye